if we're looking at legacies, for instance, Joe Lacob, he's not able to talk about Andre Iguodala yet because the moratorium hasn't ended and you're not allowed to talk about people who are still under contract on your team before right. a trade happens. Right. But he is able to talk about free agents. And so he came out today with this statement about Kevin Durant. He says, three years ago, we were thrilled with the arrival of Kevin Durant, a transformative NBA player and one of the best to ever play the game. He provided our fans and franchise with numerous highlights during his, uh, his stay here, two NBA championships, two NBA Finals MVPs, three trips to the finals, unparalleled efficiency, and carried himself with class and dignity both on and off the court. His commitment to our community was evident each day, including last season when his philanthropic efforts earned him NBA's annual community assist award. Today, as he starts a new chapter in his incredible career, we thank KD for all of his contributions, for being an integral part to one of the most prolific runs in NBA history, and wish him well as he continues his Hall of Fame journey. As long as I am co-chairman of this team, no player will ever wear number 35 for the Warriors again. That is a strong statement coming out from the owner because you're talking about a guy who played only three seasons yeah. with the Golden State Warriors, and they're talking about a jersey retirement. Monty, what do you think about that? Um, I think when you look at what Kevin was able to do here, what the Warriors did with him, like you say, two championships. Uh, it took him 41 years to get two championships before Kevin got here. <laughs> so <laughs> he comes along, and they get championships in the first two years he shows up. So. And he is the finals MVP in both of those uh, situations. So, yeah, I think this is truly how you can show appreciation for what a guy did uh, in terms of helping a team get th to the highest heights. Yeah, and then you, it's, it's not uncommon that he would get his jersey retired. Just con to your point of how valuable he is to this organization. I mean, I know the last year is kind of maybe, you know, diluted that in some people's eyes, but... I mean, I grew up in this community. You grew up in this community. The Warriors didn't win championships when we were when we were growing up. It's it's a it was a process, and he has um, you know shown that he can have the championship fabric for this team. So I'm not surprised one bit that this happened. Especially the Warriors know how to take care of their players, and that's something that they want to show with this new ownership group that they are going to take care of their players no matter how the circumstances go and how they uh, bow out. Warrior for life is the uh, is the mantra. Mm -hmm. The people around the NBA players talk to each other all the time. Mm -hmm. And what you hear from players is that the Warriors are a place that appeal to people because they do their players right. They take care of these guys. As Andre said, as Sean Livingston has said, it's the template of what you would want from a team. And Sean Livingston, who's been with nine different teams, would know. You know, he know he's seen the ugly side of the NBA, yeah. and he's seen the best of the NBA. And in his mind, there's no question this was the best side. When he was a free agent two years ago, uh, he came back Immediately, right? Like within minutes of being able to sign, I uh, agree. He agreed, and and I asked him. I said, "Why?" He says, "Because you can't put a price on happiness, and this is the best place I've ever been." Yeah, and you liken maybe his uh, his impact, Kevin Durant's impact to the Warriors, as like Shaquille O'Neal was to the Lakers. Uh, he wasn't there very long. Right. I think it was three, four years, if I remember. And he won championships. He was out of there, and now he's a retired jersey great, right, yeah. for the Lakers. So you kind of think about it that way, but. I would assume Andre Iguodala's number nine might get some conversations as well about the jerseys. I could see him, Steph, Clay, Draymond, and, and Kevin by yeah. the end of it.